Ah. Okay, did my mic scream? Can everybody hear me now? I thought I fixed this, but maybe I didn't. Hi, Roro. Okay, can... No, I fixed... Oh. Okay. Um... Let's see. Is that better? Is it, did this get fixed at all? Okay. Hey, Junior. Hey, Roz. Uh, hey, Duke. Me, Sam. Welcome everybody. Owen. Okay, I hope you guys can hear me now. Hi, Granny. Oh, wow. Look at everybody here showing up. Guys, I am so excited and sad at the same time. Oh. Nope, my mic is still not right. Oh, geez. I re... Oh. Okay. I even went back, I downgraded back to, well, actually, no, I didn't. I'm still on OBS 28, so there's still an issue. I thought I fixed it. I'm going to yell again this week and hope everybody can hear me. Hi, C. Hi, Russell. I really, really, really hope you can hear me. I may have to come over. We we may have to swap and help each other out, baby. I'll help you with the stuff you don't know that I know, and you can help me with the stuff I don't know. I am in my partially done new studio area, so I'm hoping that this will be, well, actually, I know it'll be fully done. But I was hoping that this new setup was going to be better. But it may not be. It may change to an external mic if OBS doesn't fix itself. Guys, I am so sad because the... Uh, mine is at max. Uh, but they, in OBS 28, you now can set the decibel level of your microphone to an exact decibel. So I turned mine up to pretty much max now. Uh, so I'm hoping you can hear me. Uh, yes, Sam, I am beta testing the new OBS software that's going to be coming out. So they OBS 28 does not like my microphone. It seems they um, actually are setting it at um, their own like, they just set it at zero decibels. Um, but I can go in and change it to, like, percentages. And I'm going to do that because you just told me. So how does this sound? Does this sound better? Was, is this a better setting? Knowing what Phoebe has hers at. I would, I'm actually in a, well, Phoebe, I'll, I'll see if I can get you in there. Um, okay, you guys, I'm going to turn this up to full. 
because they no longer. Okay. I'm hoping this is better. This is at like six decibels. So, I am hoping, I'm going to play some around some more with it. They've changed too many settings for me, personally, and made it a little more complicated. But, uh, I am so excited to see everybody. Hi, Jade. Oh, uh. Hi to anybody else that I missed. I'm so glad to see all of you here tonight. I'm sad because we officially have lost the Halloween feel. I was hoping maybe it'd go just a little bit longer. Diana, I'm so glad you're back and that you made it home safe. I miss the costumes. The only thing that I, oh, you're, you can't see Hey Day Every Day. Uh, I don't know why you can't, Jade. That is weird. Uh, cause if they are not blocked on my side. I really like the autumn feel, but I feel like you're, we're kind of missing something with the playing animals, which I know Ricky went and put like, oh, if I can get this to come up. He put some of the caps on his, uh, but the caps just don't do it for me. Because I could get ready, ready for Christmas earlier. But they just don't, I don't like the cap so much as the outfit. I would rather start seeing outfits in here. But I really, really, really miss, I love the costumes. The animals and costumes is my favorite part for Hey Day. And I'm really missing them and I think it'll be interesting to see it's truly more of an autumn feel I haven't changed my house yet I've got to wait till Maggie comes back so I still have Halloween up and if you haven't seen the new diamond decorator offers you guys they're out and I am excited for these Uh, but see, besides, uh, Ricky, no, I'm not sure anybody uses them and I am probably missing. Yeah. Phoebe, I want something besides hat. Give me some outfits for the animals. Give me what's even sadder. And I tried it and there was, you couldn't use the hats with the costume. And I'm so, I really was hoping that that had gotten fixed and we didn't realize it or weren't told in the last update, but it isn't something that was done. And I was kind of hoping it would, I would like to see the hats work with the seasonal outfits. That would be, that would make the hats a little something extra. Otherwise, start giving us some outfits or something. I am, I love the deco, the diamond offers that are available. As you can see them here. The only thing I'm super sad about is that it's only one acorn lamp instead of two. I would really like to see two diamond deca or two of the acorn lamps in that first offer because that way you can place one on either side of 
the walkway up here or towards the bottom you can but or even in the town or over by the boat dock because they're so cute but you get you're still getting a lot for the price even though it's one but it, it really actually based off of Greg's like how cute it is around his board I thought we were gonna get two so I was just slightly sad to find out it was only one but they're still really cute offers I've got to get them yet um, I haven't been playing as much this week as I usually do Russell, go to your farm. Okay. Uh, this is. Yep, there you go. That. I like that. But you had to buy two of them. I wish sometimes that these were in pair. Oh, jeez. I'm hitting things and not really good. I wish that the lamps were in pairs. Instead, it's the same way when we get the a fence on the uh, on the uh, wheel. When, uh, which of course I'm not gonna have a fence piece here. I have some in deco. I got a fence piece. Where are the fence pieces? Here we go. Um. Like this hedge, this purple hedge. When you put it out, oh, jeez. I'm gonna find a spot for it. It's, I mean, look at that. You just have that one piece instead of what's pictured. Because we need two of them to get what's pictured. And I like being able to just have the one, but I think when we get them, we should have two. I think it would be really nice balance there and it'd be something super fun what hi Daisy me she I didn't get a notification she shouldn't be granted I've lost my phone somebody would have to probably Ding my phone to tell me where it's at right now. Oh, wait, I found it. Uh, I didn't know. Uh, let's see here. Oh, for you, Mace, yes. Tonight, it'll, she'll be streaming tonight. You're talking, for me, it's tomorrow. Uh, she will be streaming for the live judging tomorrow. So, yes, that will be really fun. Um, I, I was like, wait, did I somehow confuse what night it was? <laughs> Ooh. I forgot you're ahead of me by that much. Uh, so that was a fun little panic there for a minute. Okay. Welcome back, VBAC. You're back. I cannot keep up with uh, chat. She will be judging live along with me. I, or I will be joining her. Uh, you're not going to see my face still. Uh -huh. Maybe one of these days you will, but I will, I, you will hear me with her tomorrow and that will be fun. I hope. And hi, Rosemary. Hi, Valerie. I can't remember if I said hi or not. Uh, I, I will preposition to uh, tonight into tomorrow that, uh, 
Uh, please don't take my judgy personally. It's not about who entered or who created something. I don't actually have not, I've not paid attention when I've looked at the deck of the designs. There are so many good entries I saw. And I'm really excited to see who made it into the top and judge them tomorrow. But I don't want to offend anybody. So I'm a little nervous. I I am I love, I love seeing, you guys are so much more creative because as you can tell, I really don't decorate and I don't chop down trees. That is my idea of decorating. I am not chopping down my trees. <laughs> so if you do more than that, you're already ahead of me. Oh, thank you, Phoebe. I will try to remember that. We all know I, I, I love this community and how much I appreciate every one of you and how wonderful the support has been. And I would choose, probably choose everybody as one of those. I didn't even spin in my truck left. I didn't spin. Why did my truck leave? I visited my truck, but I didn't spin it. That's a problem. Not happy, but okay. I'm close to leveling up in a couple of levels. Yes. I have been oddly close without starting for, or without the farm passes and it's completely by accident. I'm really, really close and I leveled up one of my farms, wasn't even paying attention to it, barely caught it. And if I could hide my corner, I would have, but I really can't. Um, please do not use that kind of language in my stream. I won't be mad, Daisy. Everybody can chop down trees if that's what they like. Uh, but it's just not me. It wouldn't do that. Uh, I wish I had something to cover that top corner. I need to get something, but oh, I have accidentally done it. There are a few missing off of this by accident. So trust me, I know what it means. I, I was, I'm very careful when I chop down my trees over in the areas because I don't want to chop down an original. And I'm starting to rebuild my vouchers to get more animals. I just don't know which animal I want to get next. I cannot decide. I've got all the horses now. I'm thinking about the donkeys. I'm not sure. I do have all the horses. Of all the horses, I have three bunnies because I needed bunnies to go with my little bunny mound. And I have three of the Tick Tick. Um, I have 
toucan, a cockatoo, and a peacock. One of each. So I, 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 the donkeys are cute. I liked having donkeys on the farm, but I don't know which one, if that's what I want to go with. The, yeah, Duke, um, I think the trees are great and they're a replacement with the vouchers, but you get such a better return on your investment with the pets. So I... On the on the um, on these four farms right now that I've been playing through or that are active that you guys see me on. My goal is different than when I for when I the first time around I played. I want pets. Then I will worry about. Balancing between fishing and doing Maggie. Because I want to have vouchers for when special designs for Maggie come through that aren't going to be offered, like the birthdays. Because I am missing a few of the birthdays. And they aren't going to come back. Because every year they're going to replace them. And the Halloween design came back from last year and a new one. Uh, but they wiped me pretty clean. I'm behind on two of my farms with money and actually all four, I should say. So, but Duke, if you're happy playing and that's the style that you like to play, there's no right or wrong way. It just depends on what you want out of the game. And I like, I like that. I like that we can all play separately. Derby starts in 7 hours and 31 minutes. I am really excited. I love the new deco. I was, I do not have a picture of the deco. Uh... But I'm sure you've seen it. If you have not seen it and you want an amazing laugh and you follow Ricky on Facebook, go have a great laugh. He turned himself into the mermaid statue instead of Greg's. Uh, let's see if Greg has it out. Does he have it on his farm? I did not check for that. And I think I need a couple of the trees with the fox. Let's see. Did it, anybody? Oh boy. You guys are going to race for the second one? Oh, oh, jeez. I don't want to know how many diamonds it costs you guys in the end to figure out who wins. Phoebe got up early in rush boats and beat Russell in the end, if I understand correctly. And, but it was close. Oh, it's close again. Oh, maybe we should take a bets on who's going to get their second walrus. Did anybody notice if they put out the valley deco on Greg's farm yet? I was really kind of hoping. But I don't think they've changed this. Which means it's not out. I want that.
It was really close seeing you guys get the walruses. I will admit that. It was really, really close. Nope, Greg still doesn't have the stew pot out. Um, he doesn't have the new Valley Deco. Still has some of the Halloween up, which is fine. Uh, but I was hoping they'd do an update. And we're still missing some of the Derby Deco. I really wish. And they took down some of the Derby Deco that had been on here the last time. We still haven't gotten that in game either. And I don't remember that. I don't remember the bamboo watering. Next to the birdhouse. Wait, where's the fish fountain? I don't know. They've had the fish fountain out once before. This this one. And I haven't seen it come into game yet, so... And that's pretty cool. There's some cool things. I love this area of Greg's farm. So I can't believe the uh, bamboo water well thing was out and I missed it. There was, it was a different fish fountain, baby. It was different than that one. I was hoping we'd see a little something more in Greg's. And I kind of... I wish we could get some of these decos. Roz, was it a few years ago? It may have been when I took a... Uh, no, I was, the bamboo stocks I remember getting, but I don't remember the bamboo well one, but that's okay. I may even have it in storage and not realize it. I have so much deco in storage that I don't pay attention anymore. It's bad. It's really, really bad. I can't believe I'm not low on pants. Greg gets all sorts of deco. Sometimes we never see it. Roger, you're probably right. I probably do have it somewhere in here. Uh, it'd probably take me an hour to find it. Because I do. I get the deco all the time. And no, I did not buy the camp or I bought the campfire kettle. I have not won it yet for the time on this farm. See, I, I buy deco. I get deco. I don't ever use it. It's pretty and it stays in my storage. Just the way it should be. I am absolutely horrible. I love them. It's pretty. I buy them. 
And I never use that. The ultimate heyday consumer, probably. And some that I haven't liked, I now have from the farm pass. I want the snow castles to come back. I really want that one to come back. More than I want the guest station to come back. So if we're going to have a repeat deco for December... I really think I want the ice castle more than anything else to come back in the farm pass. I don't know about you guys, but I love that one. This is the fish fountain that we had in the valley. Phoebe, that one, that one was it right there. It just wasn't the same. I don't have the bamboo. Unless it's still hidden somewhere. No, I don't have the bamboo. Lots of other stuff. That's okay. Hopefully it'll come back. <gasps> Russell, you don't have the ice castle. Oh, that was my favorite one. I'm hoping that I like the fact that they repeat some of the previous decos and bring them back in the farm pass because you're getting a duplicate, hopefully of something that is a fan favorite and the new players are getting a chance to get it without, and you've got to find the balance. I was going to start making these cucumber smoothies. There's some pineapples to grow. It's a hard thing because those of us who've played a long time and have... This is, no, this is Barb. I just leveled up. And this one. Uh, so I'm ready. Took the task I wanted. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we'll do the puzzle boat. That's what I want for puzzle boat. We'll do that. Phoebe, I really am curious about that that deco because it's been there for a while. Well, thanks for stopping by, Sam. I hope you get some sleep. I am really um, kind of curious about that. I'm not going to lie. And my screen is not agreeing with me. Okay, there it is. Just bring it in early. Okay. I am excited for, I really like the deco for the valley this time, and it'll be easy to get the hard part is going to be is what do they offer in the valley shop? Because last time I think a lot of us, I know Phoebe, I, 
Uh, Ricky. I think most of us probably ran out of things to buy. I bought stuff I didn't even want out of the Valley Shop last time. I don't know about you guys. But I know I did. Which drives me nuts. Well, the only thing I don't have. There you go. Everything else I'm in the process of making. Gonna spend diamonds on. Like Phoebe says, I can't take them with me to my grave. Although, if you think I could, I would. It's the way I keep them. Thank you, Russell, and thank you, Serenity. We. Okay. We don't go for the Valley Deco. Or if you have a you have a puzzle pieces. So Rosemary that I love uh I always go for the deco. Even when I don't like it, I try to go for it because I know that there's probably a less than 1% chance we'll always, that we'll get it. My big problem is that my last valley shop had more puzzle pieces in the chicken valley, which is harder to get the tokens for, than, and I could not buy the puzzle pieces, or I had to go without the deco. And usually... That deco is preferred over the sanctuary. But I really do like the fact that you have that option. I never go for the boosters uh, unless they're in the volley shop. But I'm hoping we'll get a bunch of. actual usable good pieces in the valley shop in the sanctuary so that I can finish my road. Okay, Russell. Yes, Valerie has been Filling a lot of crates, almost as much for me, too. So, thank you, Valerie. I appreciate all of the help you guys give my farms. I have to restock after doing a bunch of puzzle boats earlier this week. Anybody else notice something with the farm pass this month? Out of curiosity. When you go through the perks. And. And I'm glad it's on the sanctuary. And I hope that they're going to do this. They keep it that way. Where is it? Okay. It's, so normally. The fuel, the Valley Fuel Spin, is at 160. Last sanctuary and this sanctuary is at 180. And the only reason why that doesn't bother me is because it's a sanctuary. 
And it's so much easier to get the tokens. But they move they've they've moved it down the road. And if they don't go back to the one sixty mark when it's a chicken valley, you can't get the farm pass or that valley spin from the farm pass for extra week approximately. So I like it when it's at the 160 because that's obtainable depending on what you get for your goals in the farm pass. That's obtainable to get by the time the valley starts. And that was that's one of the reasons I like getting the farm pass, but I've noticed the last two sanctuaries, they moved it down to 180. And the first time I complained and I didn't to myself, I should say, I was like, it's been moved. Oh, no, I don't like it. And then I realized it's a sanctuary and it doesn't matter as much as it does in the chicken valley. So I'm really hoping that next month, when we'll see a chicken valley again, that they'll move it back because for a week you're not going to be able to uh, get that uh, extra spin. So I am hoping next month. We'll see if the trend stays. If not, I will be complaining. And I have not worked on my farm pass this week almost at all. As you can see. I've been taking care of some personal things and working, uh, so I have not had as much time as I normally would to dedicate to playing. So I, tonight's kind of my catch up. And I am, and also not try to be nervous for tomorrow. Oh. I am excited to see all of them, but I don't want anybody to be upset with me. OBS is giving me an error. Oh. Uh, okay. My Wi Fi just dropped a little. Okay. Uh. Oh, and I don't know why that'd be a problem is one of our mods I don't remember anything happening but mm -hmm. Russell I'm so glad you have faith in me you guys all have faith in me and I really appreciate it but I can totally be nervous I just hope it doesn't show tomorrow I'm already nervous tonight about it Good. The better question is, is if I'll get any sleep. But for those who don't know, I, uh, every election I work. So, uh, poor, 
uh, C and Russell will uh, be uh, holding down Phoebe's stream without me, and I will miss you all very much on, on Tuesday night. But I work uh, tomorrow morning before Gizmo stream for the judging. And I wanted to keep myself busy, so I'm going to go do that. And I got my voting done today, so I've got that going on. I've got uh, decided it wasn't enough to have that going on. I also decided that I wanted to deep clean and rearrange my place. So, and have my streaming studio set back up. Uh, so I've been working on that and I scheduled carpet cleaning people to come in and clean because I have kids. So once a year, like professionals to come in and clean the carpets. So they're coming and I've got that getting prepared. And one of my kids decided to have a growth spurt. So I had to change out their closets. So that's what I've been doing. While trying to like hold down and not uh, think too much about it. Rosemary, to answer your question, it is going to be at 2 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow. For Gizmo's judging stream and I believe Chris will be the community manager for Heyday will be joining live as well so Roz, I don't like to um, sit still. I've actually got another project that I'm working on too. I'm uh, trying to flex my uh, coding skills and uh, maybe have a surprise in the next couple of months. For that, and I'm super excited. So I was, ooh, yeah, you, you should have tried keeping up with me when I was younger too, Roz. Kids have slowed me down. At least I'm going to blame it on them. I, I feel like I'm slower these days. I may not be. I like to keep busy. I really do. That's okay, Russell. And I am really looking forward to since I won't I won't be at Gabby's stream on Tuesday. I'll get to see everybody on her stream on Sunday. And I'm hoping the Derby next week will uh, be flexible to the, uh, I don't know. Tuesday is my last, like, super busy day. But then Friday, Saturday, Sunday is a holiday. My kids only have school two days next week, you guys. It is mind-blowing. Two days. In the state of Illinois, it is a holiday to be off during um, election days. This is the second year in a row. So they decided this year that instead of going to school, Monday and being off Tuesday they were going to be off Monday so my kids 
This is their only full week of school. Hey, Jen. Welcome. This is the only week, full week of school my kids have. Nope, they have one more week, full week of school. And that is it until December. I don't know if I count the next full week as an actual full week because they get out of school early, one of those days. So they were off Thursday and Friday last week, as you guys remember, because they had parent-teacher conferences, which went really well for anybody who is curious. And we had... Uh, we had, we had some, I, my whole, my whole cleaning kickoff started with the fact that my, um, my kitchen had, had flooded a burst, a pipe, a pipe burst, and I had to deal with the cleaning of that mess, so that turned into cleaning everything else, so, um, I restarted redoing everything with the kids being off. I thought they were going to be so helpful. They started to be last week. And their enthusiasm has way died down. So, only Tuesday. So, Jennifer, I was going to ask. Um, so, they're only off Tuesday for you. Jennifer's about two, two and a half. Hours tops for me, I believe. Um, if I remember my geography enough correctly, and that may not be right, but um, so our our district decided to have school. We can't have school Tuesday, so they decided not to have school Monday, because then it's a four day weekend. They're off. Then they're going to be off again that Friday. So my kids will only go to school Wednesday, Thursday next week and be off Friday for Veterans Day. And I cannot, I, I love my school district, but I cannot tell you how many parents I've already talked to who are so upset we only have two days because if we were off, that's 10 days and so many of them could go and have like an early Thanksgiving or travel because it's an easier schedule and they can take off and there are some that are pulling but our district wouldn't give the full time because it extend too long into June and they don't like to they don't like to do that. But I'll be curious to see how many kids go to school Wednesday and Thursday. And there's a lot of, there's been a lot of days off. And once a month they get out, they have early dismissal, but the early dismissal on those days are split between a half day and what were was last year's early dismissal. So it's been a very interesting school year so far. I am, uh, I'm, I'm learning. I'm, I'm adjusting with it. I'm sure I thought you were off sending trucks like crazy. I have sent a few, but not uh, many. And I am not, that's not the, Yeah, I did too. But that was partially on me because 
Um, I I will I may send trucks later just to stay awake until Ricky stream. Um, I should probably be sleeping. I don't know how good it'll be for me to go without sleep, but. Four days a week. I know I should be sleeping. I usually get a nap Monday mor or Friday mornings in between Ricky stream and Jen stream. I'll take a nap and that's when I'll sleep. But since I am working the election, early voting tomorrow, I am unable to do that. So I was going to skip uh, Ricky Strang, but I don't want to leave him without a moderator. So I will at least get up and make sure that Peter or somebody's there or that Ricky's good before I go back to bed. And I'll sleep when I'm done with the stream tomorrow. Yeah, the base. <laughs> I have the baseball game on in the background. Uh, not that you guys can hear it. I have it on mute. But, uh, Daisy, that's what I'm hoping. Um,. But I'm going to make sure. Oh, see, you guys are trying to tell me not to feel bad in that. Look at that love. And I do. I feel bad even considering that I wouldn't be in there to get some sleep. I don't need to be falling asleep. Jen going, hey, CJ, wake up. You got you to gotta tell us what you think. Oh, that'd be worst case scenario. Ah, that would be horrible. Sure leave an impression on everybody then. Usually it's me, Peter, and BR. Um, but lately uh, it's then BR. I did talk to Peter and he said he was, was going to nap now so he could go. But I hate, I, I don't, I want to make sure he has somebody before I go to go back to sleep. So I'll get up and check. Oh, Russell, you're so sweet. I know you would. I will get as much sleep as I possibly can. I promise everybody. I won't be falling asleep in Jen's stream either. I'll be wide awake. I promise. Nobody will have to tell me to stay awake. Because I'm really excited to see all of them. kind of accurate although I'm really kind of I want to see I really want to see whatever what the response is I wish I had loaded hit the picture up um, that he had posted uh, of himself as the mermaid did John did you and PB see that Daisy or Russell, D Diane, anybody see uh, what uh, the the redo? It is. I'll come over. 
I'm inviting myself, baby. Look at that. It was hot. Maybe he was going to post it on his YouTube since you can make posts like that now on YouTube. But it was really cute. I got to kind of admit, it was kind of cute. It was definitely the wrong bird on his head, but I actually kind of felt it was fitting for him instead of the play on the little mermaid but it was really uh it was really funny uh, and i'm i'm actually glad that they decided to use greg in there as the uh and make it a merman instead of a a female, not heyday related. I was really excited to see it, and I wish I had a picture of it to show you guys. But it'll be really worth it when you guys, if you guys haven't seen it, to see the actual deco and not Ricky's photoshopped creation of it. But his photoshop creation is really funny, and. I, w I would have gotten that, too. I think it would be kind of fitting if um, they had one for each of the CCs. If they char changed one of the like uh, decos for the derby, uh, after they're done with like this world tour or something and made one for each of the s official CCs and let you guys kind of pick out what's fitting for you guys and what you'd want. That would be so fun. Um, Mace, yes, I will be changing my house hopefully next week. Only problem is that I am, when I do so, I will probably go back to the original because it'll be the cheapest for getting out. And I need to save up because I'm behind on machines after buying both of the Halloweens for this year. And I need to stock back up because I am crossing my fingers, praying that Hayda hears feedback. And I want a gingerbread Maggie house for Christmas. Slash winter. Because it's not really Christmas. I want to turn... I want a gingerbread Maggie. And the truck too. Uh, I think it was... Baby? Or in her stream? I don't know who's. Because I'm really bad. So, I'm sorry. Whoever originally came up with the idea of... Candy canes for the runners. Ooh. Awesome, Phoebe. I am glad to hear that you did that. I really, really want... We could have a gingerbread truck with, like... That's kind of more of a sleigh. Because I get that Christmas is not celebrated by a huge population that plays heyday. Please realize that. And I think it's one of the aspects of heyday that I love is that they really take into uh, consideration how much like the it's not just who spends the most money on the game. It takes the content of the game. They take in consideration everybody, every culture, every nation that plays. We're getting all these wonderful decos from the valleys that represent all these different nationalities and landmarks around the world. And they have done, hey Abdul, so while we may not get what we think of like, I would call 
like I said, National Lampoons. And if you guys don't know that reference, I'm sorry, I'm old. But it's the only thing I can think of. Uh, is I would go with a National, uh, like a National Lampoons. When I think of Maggie for Christmas, and if we're true Christmas, that's what I think of in my head as a design. And turning the truck kind of into a stash station wagon. And I understand that that wouldn't necessarily appeal to the worldwide demographic. Because we're going to have a population that plays or that celebrates other holidays and not just Christmas. It may be fun for them. But that would they'd probably need community feedback for that. And I think asking maybe the community if that's kind of the design they'd want, that'd be nice. But in reality, if they're not asking and they're gonna go for like the safe middle ground of something that's Christmassy slash wintery and more acceptable to everybody no matter your background gingerbread is definitely the best way to go and i really want that design i draw i would probably leave it up all your because it could be so much fun. So I am definitely holding out hope that we have a winter esque reminds everybody of that season design. And I need to save up for it because I am sure it won't be cheap. And that is my one complaint about Maggie is that. If you don't buy when, like the birthdays, I'm missing a couple of those. If you don't buy them when they come, then they haven't come back. But I really am hoping for like a gingerbread. And I like that we have the consideration for everybody. So I think that's a safe. Halloween has become kind of like a commercial and something everybody celebrates it's not really halloween in the same sense we have in the u.s as we do in other countries but it works so i'm hoping they'll do something this year what it'll be we'll see maybe i'll be wrong and they won't do anything it may not be a high enough one. <sighs> yeah, I'm see. I don't know why we couldn't have it. I really and actually looking at some of the the the, the collection designs and houses that I've seen on um on some farms, I think the gingerbread would be the, one of the easier concepts than like a full out National Lampoon's Christmas kind of house. Which I think that's what I would, if you told me strictly Christmas with like lights and deco be going national lampoon. I want to see an inflatable snowman coming out of the chimney or a, a Santa coming out of the chimney here instead of the leaves there. You know, it's totally different route. So cross our fingers. Maybe enough people will have wanted it and will be there. Okay. Uh, 
My screen is freezing again. Okay. <sighs> My screen froze. There it goes. More milk. Anybody really like dis disappointed with these? Because I really liked these. Bye, Valerie. Have a good night. So what is it? Chickens usually get in the winter. They usually get something. Scarf? No. That's I forget what the animals get for winter. They usually get something. I forget what. I don't pay as much attention as I do in the uh, the summer and Halloween are my favorite seasons because they have the best designs during those two seasons. So I'm always paying attention. I always look out for those. Yeah, they... That's right. The cows have the scars. For some reason, I thought the sheep did, but I think the sheep has something else. Let's see. Does my... Uh, maybe I'll pull it up on Wiki. Let's see. Nope, it doesn't say that'll get added. Oh. Surprising that it's not in the wiki. That was disappointing. Look that up for no reason. Ear moss. There you go. Antlers. Oh no. Maybe that would be hard. They don't, um, they don't have all of the images, but the hats are, aren't, I mean, they're kind of cute for the seasons we don't have anything on the animals, but at the same time, they don't, they're not exciting. I want little outfits to go with them. I want to dress my animals up all year round. Welcome back, Phoebe. Bye, Rosemary. Be safe. The snow cannon is so much fun. Uh, I'd dig it out if I wanted to go spend time digging it. Um, 
but this snow cannon is fine. The one thing I wish it did was actually leave a little more snow, but that's a hard thing to add in. So I get that. No. It didn't last. I did. It's the same snow from last year. It didn't, uh. I love how we're all debating. Hey, Jordan. I love how we're all debating what this winter animals get. And it'll probably be another month before we see what they have on. I'm going to add it to the Heyday Wiki once it's finally there. And known for sure, because I'm surprised that it wasn't on here. Uh, wait, maybe it is. Hold on. Let me see. Seasonal things. There we go. Okay. It is in here in the wrong section. Nope. Uh, yeah. Hold on. Blue earmuffs for the chicken. The house gets turned with uh, like a, it just gets a little bit of light bulbs put on it. Uh, a red hat for the pigs, green scarves for the chicken. The bees get uh, their own little hat as well, green like hat or actually it almost looks like a gift tag to be honest with you guys. Um, when you blow it up, uh, antlers go on the sheep and the shaw, the pink shawls that remind me of, I want to say West Side Story. Is that right? Kind of the way you wear it around your head, uh, farm and style. That's what they get. And they, that usually comes out sometime in December. So we've got about a month gap here before we go over. Yeah, uh, Diane was right. Or are you going just for like the most profitable after the basic? Wait, are you wanting the most profitable donut? I am really close. Uh, I will probably send trucks after I'm done streaming uh, and get this task finished just so I can bubble up. But. The C usually knows the most profitable without having to go and look. There you go. I never have enough pants. Never. I woke up last night 
and accidentally got as a product no as we just have we just use peanuts instead of peanut butter we don't have that extra step daisy I woke up in the middle of the night last night and uh My kid had gotten up, so woke me up and uh, got up with them. So I was checking on a task I was doing on another farm and hadn't realized when I did my last harvest, I had harvested the last of all of my peanut bushes and they were dead. Hadn't even noticed. So... I was like, whoops, guess I need new peanut bushes, put them in last night so they'd be ready. The, uh, I know C's got a good, nose are good, but really you can find those on Wiki. Um, they'll tell you to an extent the most profitable, and you can see what you'll make. Sometimes you have to do some of the math, but. It's not too hard. Uh, Sanctuary Valley, the boats this time. Uh, two time point event for the town visitors is. Tomorrow, I believe. Show you, but my whole device has decided it should freeze up at the moment. There it goes. Yeah, town visitor events tomorrow. Which I won't collect anything and finish my. I'll serve everybody, but I won't collect them until tomorrow. So I get my. Two time coin. Three random buildings on Saturday so you can restock. And then the fishing event on Sunday is all of them. So great time to stock up. But I would honestly advise the fact that unless you are not going for sun points in the Hagandra, if you are not going to do the valley sun points don't nest or you don't need an item from the in the for the shoot train of thought come back you do not need something for your farm pass out of the fishing area I will not use Sunday's event because I you I tend to have to make fishing lures or go fishing. I try to keep a small stock. I may make some, but I don't want my tackle box over full going into a valley. But if you, that day is a great day, you could earn a lot. So the valley opens tomorrow. And 
if you know that you don't have any, let's say, lobster traps or any of the It's usually make mats. Uh, it's usually make unless you get it fishing right away on that day. I don't tend to. Use the. Uh, the production in there unless I have sun points by that day. And to the tall. We have a couple days left, uh, two days, I believe, left on these. I believe the offers, by the way, disappear on the 5th. Maybe Phoebe can confirm that. I think that's what I remember. So I think not quite two days, I guess a little over a day left before the Diamond Echo offers disappear. That's what I have written down. I may have not been paying as close of attention as I should have when I wrote them down. When adding rice pudding is not necessarily bad, but that's another uh what yeah, once he has a point, what machine would you put it in? I have an idea on that. But then you're adding another milk product. And people are already complaining enough about the milk. So, while it's an item that would be kind of cool, I don't know that it would really be logistically good at this point. If I... I wouldn't, I couldn't think right off the top of my head a good way that that would fit in. Because if you think about all the things you have to do, really up to 111 right now, there's so much to do. And how much money you have to earn, there's so much more. You can't rush everything the way you did. You, it's a different style really and I've seen a few people complain that the last few updates products and items entered are for over 100 players but if you look at the age of the game it's amazing that we have players that are just now joining that are in the that are brand new or going through something they really need to start adjusting to those that are still long-term players too because they need to have something for those higher levels and that's why you're seeing that because we already have so much when you get down people are already wanting to rush to get to the higher levels and so many people come into streams especially fees Phoebe's or Jen's or Ricky's and they'll ask, how do I make money quick? Because they're behind on machines like I am. Or they'll come in and they will ask, how do I level up so fast? And the best advice is to not. Like, 
keep it balanced and let them the team work on retaining longtime players because that's you have to have that balance. I don't, I agree with you, John. To an extent, I fully agree. I don't think you're going to see something like honestly, I could see them going to maybe 200 but I think it's really going to see, yeah, I, 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 honestly, the max I think they'd ever go would be 200, only for the fact that at some point, if you're looking at, and I think it's got to be a flexible plan, a truly flexible plan. Because if you're onboarding a lot of new players and you're losing long-term players, then, which is why the feedback's important, then you're going to have to start adding for higher players. Because you've got people who are like, I'm not going to spend, I'm not going to invest, in, in it because I know once I get to such a high level, I'm not going to do something. But at the same time, when you put in so much work to a level, you're not necessarily going to quit. Exactly. See, Jen, exactly. You're not, you're already at 334. Wait, you're still, yeah, you're still 334. Red is up at 604 now, and he's still busting away. Um, I just realized that Nudie and I aren't friends anymore on this farm. Uh, she's still rock. I mean, she's not doing as much uh, at the moment, I noticed, but... I mean, she's rocking it out at such a high level. But the those high there are high level players that need something potentially to work for. They'll find, they'll, they'll eventually find a balance as they get through there. I think they will, especially with listening to feedback from the community. There's not a way the game will keep surviving or has survived for as long as it has without that part. So... And there's still a lot of really cool ways that they can explore and grow the game that doesn't require adding new machines or new products at this moment. There's a lot of terrain and things that could be redone in the town, in the fishing area. I see a lot of potential in the town, though. And I would like to see that grow. I really would. And this land in front of the beach opened up. I think it's really pretty to have the bush, the bushy trees there. I don't know if they're bushes or trees. To be honest, they go, the leaves go so far to the ground, they look like a bushy. But.
gun. It's really cool to level up that fast. And it's great that you had the money to do it. I did that and I did not have enough money. There's... And that lies the problem. So it's fine. Like, it's kind of finding that balance with the fact that I gave up, um, we need to make hay, or hay bun wheat bundles. Um, I don't have a ton of room though. Okay. Uh, and it's a balancing act, which is, I added a new layer of challenge. The town can add another part. And the fact that you can play Heyday outside of the Derby bringing the sections together. And even then, you don't have, outside of the mystery, for the love of it. <sighs> Sorry. report days. They're caught by my theme and then Nightbot failed us you guys. It caught it, it alerted me and then let it through. Hopefully that takes them out. Oh. Okay, thanks. Well, that's good to know. I am learning new stuff all the time. I... I even banned half of what was in that. You can't say it. it is, it's been a while since this one's been in. So, I don't know how it got past part of the words ban, but... They do. It happens. Long form. Gotta take attack. I don't know which attack to take away at the time. So behind with other things. I've been doing this week. Yeah, it's been it's been a hot minute at least. But they're gone. Ooh. YouTube's new auto filter is supposed to have helped with those and they banned a whole bunch of new words and a whole bunch of like com combined combos like that. I was reading through it, and I don't think they have it worked out fully. They're having clearly issues because you can't, but the handles is so funny. Uh, I don't want a different handle. You can't go in and be like, yeah, I want this handle because it's already reserved. And yet, I probably once a week I'm being told, hey, you're getting this handle. Change it if you don't want it. No, I just want you to quit sending me the emails telling me that that's a 
because that's what it's going to stay at. And they raised their prices. So, yay. <laughs> For anybody complaining about heyday prices going up, don't worry. Prices have gone up. Maybe not in our diamond shops, but they have. Oh, no, I do want my channel name as my handle. But they keep sending me emails telling me that that's what I'm going to get. So I go, I'll go, I've tried to go in and be like, confirm or see if there's a way to say like, yes, I want this and quit getting the email. Because I don't need to be told it's going to keep, it's going to be my handle. But that's what it does. It just tells me, it doesn't give me like a confirm and we'll quit emailing you about this change. I've been using this handle for more years than I wanted to tell you. I've got the price increase email this week because I pay for premium. Yeah. I, I still keep getting them too. I'm glad I'm not the only one who keeps getting them. Oh. And I hope that it's... I, I'm sorry it makes you want to sleep, but I'm glad it relaxes you and you like it. I don't like the way I sound. I, I think I sound very mellow, which is really funny because... I am excitedly and I think I sound weird when I, when I listen to the videos back, I don't think it's not, uh, it's not the same in my, in my head. Okay. So I don't know about John, Phoebe, but I know for me, mine's because I have the, screwed up um, old YouTube account. This is my original pre-Google YouTube account. This was my original. I wiped it clean to, to keep it for my and do the heyday with it. Um, and I had old content that I took down a few years ago. Um, because the game didn't exist anymore and I wasn't um, working with it. But it have what's called the brand account because it's so old, I guess. I'm not exactly sure why. And I can't undo it. Once you switch to a brand account, you lose the ability to go to a personal. So I have... I know they keep bothering me for that, but Granny, I did I grew up without having a choice to know about technology, even though it was really before like ahead of the time. I grew up in a house that more because my dad worked in technology. Um so it's something I've been used to, and some of the new things, I don't, I can, I, I figured out how to be on TikTok and watch things, but I'm not, like, into the new, some of that new stuff. And I'm still ha learning how to do some of it. So, I... I understand it. Don't understand every bit of the new stuff, but I try to keep up. I don't want to fall behind, especially since I still have kids that I need to stay in front of them for. Oops. 
And just sometimes it's not difficult to understand in a sense of how to use it. It's difficult to understand why people put something on there. And it makes me very thankful. I grew up in a time where whenever I did at that age is not out there for somebody to see. Uh, I, anything I don't ever want to get out, locked away, only in the minds of who was with me. <laughs> I think he actually likes giving us all a heart attack. If anybody wonders, I, I think he actually likes it. Make sure everybody's awake. Every once in a while, I'll, uh, even I'll be like, well, well, I couldn't hear you two seconds ago and now you're way too loud, but it's just part of who Ricky is. He's fun. Oh, yes. And his accent is very unique to him. Just like how he says my name is very unique to him. And I, it's not, it, it wasn't meant to be that way and I like it. I have no problems with it. Baby, you have fast reflex. Sometimes I cannot get to that mute before he reacts. I accidentally collected two of these earlier. So I'm trying to remember to use my town hall. He is, he does get, uh, stream starts at 2 p.m. Eastern. For Gizmo Spikes. Deco judging. That I keep trying to remind myself not to be nervous about. Everybody remember. Oh, I'm actually kind of glad you're not like you didn't. It was the perfect timing for me, for my schedule, but Yes, 2 p.m. Eastern. If anybody wants to watch it. Oh. Bye, Phoebe. Thanks. I probably should get going and try to get a nap then, too. I actually need to send Gizmo done something. And I'm going to send some trucks. And I appreciate everybody hanging out with me tonight. Just talking and playing. Oh. 
Oh, Green, we're so glad you found us too. This community is absolutely wonderful. You guys are amazing. I have amazing support from my mods, from the content creators. I appreciate Phoebe and Jen coming each week to show support and giving me advice and encouragement and all of you guys showing up so that I have somebody to talk to and not feel like I'm talking to nobody. I really like the feedback and the feeling of conversation. And I have some cool ideas that I want to, that I'm working on that I want to incorporate and try down the road here. See if I can get some stuff. And I, I'm really excited. And Discord will, for myself, will be opening up soon. So that'll be one thing to be looking forward to. There are a few who are helping me kind of test it out and get the feel for running it myself right now. Uh, but you guys, I cannot thank you guys enough for how much, and it means so much. I appreciate each and every one of you, whether you guys have come for 10 minutes or the entire stream. It means a lot. Hi, Kristen. I am looking forward to all the things I have coming out and coming up and to the new setup I should have going here shortly. So I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. And I will see you guys in another stream because I am always somewhere and I hope and if I don't see you in another stream for some reason I hope you guys have a wonderful week until you get back here next week thanks everybody bye y'all happy streaming or farming I'm streaming I don't know. I'm losing it tonight. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Bye, y'all.